Hey my panda cubs! So uh, first I'm sorry about the webcam quality, it's an ancient webcam, um, I'll buy a new one when I get paid and I just can't bother to hold my phone in front of my face at the minute so I'll have to put up with this for now. Uh, hey, hey panda, hey Pandora, why, why, why are you not a cartoon panda or, or why are you real life panda right now? Ah, oh, that's a very good question, Mr. Chucky. Don't worry, I'm, I'm still going to use my VTuber avatar, um, mostly for like um, information videos, the way I'm going to display information on screen a lot. You know, I can use my panda avatar more there, and for my DRG videos, um, I'll use the Scout Panda. Uh, the VTuber Panda, that Scout Panda, I'm Hon Panda. <laughs> I want to be a little more real in these trans videos and um, especially if, if trans videos were a, li a little bit more personal you know I want you I want you to get to know the real me and uh, not only that I want to work on my confidence and self-esteem too for reasons we'll get into uh, momentarily but uh, I have an anxiety disorder so this doesn't come natural to me uh, I'm not very good at thinking in real time and I'm not, I'm not very good at socializing and interacting so this is good practice for me and um, also my AI filter studio has shut down <laughs> so you know this gives me more motivation to voice train too which I will be doing over the next few months now anyway confidence that's a nice segue into the point of this video right support in my area there is a zero absolutely a zero support for trans people none mm. and not only that my GP doesn't give me support my mental health team doesn't give me support at least not on trans issues so I've been completely alone dealing with this completely alone um, you know I discovered I was trans a couple of years ago kind of impulsively jumped headfirst into it and had no support or help or advice or nobody to go to to learn how to be trans so I made mistakes like getting adopted by a bunch of gender critical type pick me trans people not my proudest moment but I was a baby trans I didn't know any better please forgive me there's, there's, there's just nothing especially in this area like there's no support groups there's no social groups for trans people in my area. Um, there is like an LGBT club in town, I hear, but it's like for kids. Um, now, I, I have got the mental and emotional development of a child, but uh, sadly those places more take your physicality into consideration over your mental and emotional day of being. So what do we do? when there is no support, you're, you're, you're trans, you're just beginning your journey, your family's transphobic or your friends are transphobic, you can't go to them, you're isolated and alone, your GP's a complete wanker. Who do you go to? Well, you go to your local, you know, a, a supportive local trans organization, okay? We don't have one. <laughs> we don't have one. Uh, luckily for me, a, a trans charity in London actually took pity on me and, and took me in, even though I'm way, 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 you know, 600 miles outside their catchment area. They were kind enough to let me go to their online support group. So that helped a little and, uh, you know, they'd let me, they'd let me use their support line in email too. That's got me thinking, Rather than sitting around complaining about there being no support, I thought I, it's time I did something about it. No, it's too late for me. L luckily, I'm strong, right? Luckily, I'm strong. I went through it all alone, but I've come out the other side, and it's it's made me who I am. But you sh nobody should have to be that strong, and nobody should have to go through what I did alone. You know, you have to, trying to figure out your identity and figure out what to do and 
your GP's forcing you to DIY, you can't get access to blood tests so you're doing it dangerously, nobody cares, it feels like the world wants you dead. How are you supposed to deal with that stress and, and trauma? All alone, with nobody to lean on and nobody to go to for advice and no, no, no avenues to make anything better. It's not right. It's not right. How I've survived, I don't know. But it's many out there who wouldn't and probably haven't, you know, sadly. Now, I can't go around saving the whole world, sadly. But you can start on your own doorstep. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. There's no support for trans people in my area, in Bassett Law, in, in North Nottinghamshire. So I'm going to create it. I'm going back to college. Boing. I'm going to back to college. I'm going to do some accredited courses on counselling, tutoring, mentoring, educating, coaching, yeah, mental health awareness, supporting people with uh, learning disabilities, understanding autism. And there's a few more I want to do on here too. But they can mostly wait. The, the main two is the counselling. I want that diploma. The mental health awareness, definitely. And there's, um, in, there's uh, information, advice or guidance certificate as well. Those are the main three, sorry. Information, guidance, um, counselling, mental health awareness. And with that, I'm going to set up uh, a local organisation for this area, for Bassett Law, North Nottinghamshire. Um, so no trans person has to be alone, right? And we're going to have things like support lines. I'm, go I'm going to take some leafs <laughs> out of the books of the couple of charities in London who have actually helped me. I'm going, to, I'm going to take a leaf out of their book, set up a, a support line. So trans people who are in my area, who, who, who may be not out to their families or friends yet, or they're not out to their partner or, or they're in a situation where, you know, they could become homeless if they, <laughs> or they fear for their life. Like, like, like me in my old area, getting beat up all the time. Maybe they're similar, right? Maybe they're in a similar situation, so they're too scared to come out it. Too scared to tell anyone the support line will be there so they can contact confidentially and get some advice and get some support. Or maybe you're being forced to DIY where we can run classes on how to DIY safely. And uh, as an organization or, or even a, a, as a charity, you know, maybe we can come up with some kind of uh, partnership with a trans-friendly lab or a trans-friendly, find a unicorn, a trans-friendly GP and trying to organize some way that people can get blood tests, you know, you know so we might have that swear working, look, look, these people are DIYing, they need to do it safely, they need at least the blood tests, like, can we get them some, you know, a regular blood test, like one, at least once every three months even, that'd be, that'd be great. But apart from that, we'll have like support groups, both online and in person, Right, where we can do uh, arts and crafts therapy and group therapy and talk about experiences, talk about our problems, you know, talk it out and come up with solutions or, or, or ways to cope with our emotions and, and ways to cope with our situation. You know, a, a waiting list support group for those stuck on ridiculously cruel, long GIC waiting lists. Because we, you've got that solidarity then and that togetherness and that shared struggle, that shared experience. But apart from support groups, we can have like social groups, right? Game nights, coffee mornings, and just meeting up at the pub, right? To, to practice socializing for those of us. I've got an anxiety disorder, right? As I said, but what's helped me is exposure. Right, hanging out with, with people in real life. I've been doing that a lot more recently. That's helping me. 
that sort of bring people together and teach them to make friends. That that female socialization as well it is something that I couldn't get because I never went out. I never socialized. <laughs> Even as a male, I never socialized. Never mind as a female. But now I'm actually getting some female socialization. So we can we can do that in the social groups. We can run classes and seminars and, you know, maybe maybe pay a speech therapist or even have a speech, a trans-friendly speech therapist, volunteer their time to run a class, uh, introduction to voice training, right, introduction to resonance, things like that. Uh, have, a, have a beautician come in, makeup lessons, we can run events like that, have a market stall with pamphlets and leaflets and information to uh, debunk stigmas and myths about trans people to the public and you know, invite parents of trans children to come and chat with us about their concerns and their questions and, th and their curiosities, right? And we can provide support to them as well. And of course, we can have a news blog where we chat about local trans issues that affect trans people in the area. We can do that and we can get people's experiences out to the public. Um, and we can actually approach services, uh, asking them questions for our news blog and, and letting them know that it's for a news blog to, you know, just just get that little bit of awareness and that little little sway and like, look, we've got eyes on you, we need this to change. But really, I just don't think people should have to go through what I did completely alone, as alone as I did. And uh, sadly, I can't save everyone. But if I do these courses, set up my organization you know at least I can save people in my immediate vicinity anyway those are my plans uh, do you like them do you hate them put them in the comments tell me what you think do you think I'm a dickhead put it in the comments <laughs> either way it's all good it's all it's all interaction uh, my, my algorithms a bit didgeridoo this past couple of months and be being locked up and moving and stuff and not uploading regularly. My, uh, the algorithms, they're out. The algorithms fell out for me. It's not my friend again at the minute. <laughs> so press that like button. My patrons, I'm sorry you're feeling. Uh, you've been feeling a little abandoned this past couple of months. Um, I promise, I've not deliberately been lazy and I haven't forgotten about you. Um, I really do appreciate your support. I'll see you on Patreon soon. For Patreon exclusive, we'll have a little more personal private chat on there. Uh, thank you for your patience. <laughs> but look, it's not it's not a very trans friendly world out there, especially on Turf Island, where I am. especially in this country, things are getting scary. People thought things would get better under Labour. It's getting worse. The cast Labour's letting the cast review go after adult services now. They're going to try and force conversion therapy for adults next. They're saying, oh, you shouldn't give hormones so quickly. You should try conversion therapy first. It's bullshit. They're just making transition even more isolating and more dangerous for us. It's wrong. Even if you do have support in your area now, it's not guaranteed to be there in a year or two. So what do we do in these situations? We need to support each other, right? Community, safety, solidarity. Right now, you can join my Discord. We've got a wonderful little supportive community there for all my babies. You know, if you're watching this, you're my baby. I don't care. You're my sister. You're my little sister. I'm big sis. Even if you're older than me, I'm your big sis. And in a couple of years time, because I need time to finish the courses, don't rush me. <laughs> I need time to do the courses and set up the organisation and, and research of how I can do it above board and legally and stuff. And a couple of times, if you're in my catchment area, North Nottinghamshire area, then you can be part of 
that community too uh, and that and I promise that I won't let anybody go through their discovery and their transition alone not as long as I'm alive and uh, I plan to be alive for a very long time zippity 